This Let's Play was supported by these awesome hobby companies. Hello everyone, this is Az with Beasts of War, and today I am joined by Lance. Hello. Justin. Hello. And John. Hi. And we're about to do a Let's Play of Legends of Sleepy Hollow from Greater Than Games. Now, whether you're watching this on YouTube, on beastofwar.com, or on Kickstarter, this game is due out on Kickstarter this month. So this is actually a prototype copy of the game. So we will be learning the rules as we go through, and this is not actually the final product you guys can expect if you do back to Kickstarter. I want to be very clear about that. But one other very important warning is this is a very narratively driven game. So we'll have a little opening as we get into chapter one of Legends of Sleepy Hollow. As we progress, progress through the game, though, please be aware we will put up spoiler warnings and give you a little nudge just in case there's something you don't want to see that might ruin your playthrough if you decide to back the game. OK. So we don't often do this at Beasts of War, but the guys here have not played this game yet. We normally like to do a playthrough first to get our handle on the rules and get up to speed and everything before we actually sit down to film. But this time I've taken extra care so we honour Greater Than Games' vision of having this very narrative driven new experience. So this is basically designed for us to be exploring and working through a story. Yes, exactly right. So let me open up with a story. Oh, story time with us. Chapter one, The Schoolhouse. It's been days since anyone has seen Ichabod Crane, and with the strange whispers from townsfolk of creatures and ghouls lurking in the shadows, you're all fairly certain it was not Ichabod's skittish demeanour that sent him into hiding. Don't spoil. Each of you were called to Sleepy Hollow for different reasons, and each of us will be playing one of the legends we'll come to in a second. But it has become clear that you all have the same purpose, to solve the mystery of Ichabod's disappearance and shine light on the darkness that has quickly enveloped the small town. You'd all arrived at the schoolhouse where Ichabod schooled the youth of the town. You have Katrina Van Tassel to thank for this first lead. She recalled Ichabod speaking of a particularly quiet but precocious student, uh, precocious student sorry, that he coaxed out of shyness by sharing a secret language. After befriending the student, Ichabod had said that she knew entirely too much about the supernatural superstitions that her Dutch grandmother spoke of from the old world. Katrina was certain that the journals they shared at the school might provide some insight and it was as good a place as any to start. Okay. Pushing open the schoolhouse doors, uh, you find the interior ragged and nearly taken over by vines spilling through the windows and up through the floorboards. It was cold and the smell of rotting vegetation was heavy. Ahead, in the centre of the room, something shambled slowly from the shadows, a mysterious and menacing figure of sinew and bark. Matthias unholstered two flintlock pistols and quietly muttered, Shriek roots, guess we'd better get started. And with the sound of thudding boot heels and muzzle thunder, the search was underway. So let's have a quick introduction of who we are playing. Um, I am Matthias, as previously mentioned, if you want to just slide that away for a second. So this is Matthias, and I am a war veteran who basically people know very little about. So he's essentially a bit of a loner, a bit of a rogue, and I'm armed with flintlock pistols, so I'm kind of like our... Did you keep your service weapons? Maybe, maybe just maybe. He probably um, did. devilish hunter. So John, you're playing... Emily. And a little bit, what does she do? Who, what kind of person uh, is she? Emily is basically the tanner. Um, okay. So she's a lot of leather working and stuff, but she's also been trained as a hunter um, by her father. Yeah. Um, so she's very skilled with the bow. And her parents have moved away. She's kind of like a curious, yeah. not, not a loner, but she likes to go and investigating. She's kind of like a, bit yep. of a, uh, a little searchy. And we'll skip and show who's this then. This is your character, Lance? Yes. This is Elijah, <coughs> Elijah Kappel. So uh, he came over from uh, Norway? Yeah, to the new land. Yeah, he to the new lands. Uh, unfortunately, he lost his family and now he's trying to regain his lost passion. And he's a minister, right? Yes. Okay. Now, everyone's going to have specific roles in this. And one thing I want to point out very clearly, just before we, we go any further, if you want to put the Undertaker underneath, pop him under. Mm -hmm. So in the final game, they are aiming through the Kickstarter to have resin miniatures rather than these cardboard standees. We'll show a picture of you guys now at home so you can see what these are potentially going to look like. Yeah, so uh, this is Jeremiah Pinkle, and he is the the local grave digger. 
So basically, he's reasonably well known in and around the local area. Mm -hmm. His father was a sailor, and his mother was actually an indentured servant. Oh, wow. Uh, right. Unfortunately, she passed away. Mm -hmm. So his father actually took him out of Boston yeah. up to undeveloped sort of New York area. Okay. So in and around the local townships and mm -hmm. stuff. So he has found basically his place in life is as a grave digger. He's yeah. a, a very quiet, sort of stoic young man. Mm -hmm. So people know him to see, but not really much about him. Okay. So we're all essentially the legends of Sleepy Hollow. Mm. Um, now we're going to show you guys at home a little bit, just very briefly about how the game works. So this is Elijah Cappell's player board, and it, it shows you the clothing that Elijah is wearing, and it also shows you the staff that he's equipped with. And more importantly, it also shows you that he gets five actions, and each turn you can spend these actions on environment actions, on, in his case, wrath or blessings to smite foes or bless his allies, or to heal or calm, as fear is a key component of this game, and we can all use moments of calm to get rid of that fear. Um, so basically, over the course of the game, what we'll be doing is taking actions cooperatively to search around the school to pick up these various little notes, hoping to find the journal of Ichabod and also the journal of his student. If we're able to bring them to the desk in the schoolhouse, we will potentially complete our mission and end the chapter. Cool. Sounds cool. easy well, enough. Sounds easy enough. Um, I will note as well that we're technically playing in Legends mode. This is something that's being worked through through playtesting by Greater Than Games. We've decided that we are going to play with the full difficulty. We're not going to, uh, we're not going to go easy on ourselves, so fingers crossed that this goes well. Mm. Okay. We're pros at games. We should be all right. Famous last word. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get started with turn one. Now, when players take their actions, we do so in any order we like. It's completely cooperative. We can decide which one of us wants to action, and you simply take one action to get started. Uh, in that case, I would like to start okay. with Jeremiah. He's got the most health. He does. And he's got a, a decent melee attack with his shovel. Yeah, he also has a heavy cloak, which gives him one defense, so it reduces mm. the damage he takes. So he adds uh, acts as a really good front man to kind of take some of the damage from the yeah. monsters. So I think I will activate, and I'm actually going to go for Practiced Smash. You get two of these. So he has Practiced Smash, yeah. which means it's a two dice attack mm -hmm. with plus two damage. He's also got Wild Smash, which is a one dice attack, but it's times three damage. Yes, and it's worth noting that these only have one action space on them, which means you can only use them once until you've used all of your actions, yes. and then they will refresh. And I believe you have four actions to get through, or uh, five, sorry. Five, okay. but I'm thinking if I do this first, mm -hmm. I can get a nice hefty swing. Okay. So if I start from here, yeah. you up to three spaces, I believe. I would move one, two, three, okay. and into melee with this, this little living tree That's stump. That's a Shriek root. Yeah. So if I start by, I'll hit that. OK, so what does it say on your card then? Two dice, and it's plus two damage. OK, so, so roll two I dice. I assume it's the white dice? Yeah, roll two white dice in. Wow, uh, that'll so be <laughs> seven damage. <laughs> now, we'll show off then. This is what the Shriek Root card looks like, if you want to put it under. So Shriek Root has a range of zero, which means he has to get into melee with you before he can strike you. And he does only have five health, so that's going to easily take him out. And that's great, because one of the ways we can potentially lose the game is if we get overwhelmed by monsters and there's not enough of the Shriek Roots or the Gobkins to place on the board. Yes. So keeping on top of the ones on the board is very important. So that's your action all done? Uh, yes, my action is done. Um, well, I've probably got the next best damage, so I'd be willing to jump up next and do some shooting, if that's with you guys. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. So I shall I'll move to here. Keep myself to have line of sight to this recruit, and I'll spend my action on hip shot. Now my hip shot actually does zero damage. However, my flink lock pistols have a range of one, and oh, actually, sorry, if they have a range of one, I'm going to actually have to stay there. But that's okay. A range of one, and I roll a dice and get one on top of it for damage. Nice. So my damage is two plus one is three. So he'll be down from five health to two. Mm -hmm. I actually could set him up very nicely for Emily to for come along Emily. and yep. finish potentially. So Emily's going to stay exactly where she is. Okay, so she's just there. Yep, her bow is range two. Awesome. And let me see, I'm going to use one action on Hunter's Shot, yep. which is two damage, no dice rolls. Yeah, straight. So the good thing about Emily is she's nice and consistent. Yep. No, you just know exactly how much damage you're going to get. He only has two health left, so that'll go ahead and take him out. Right, so I'm assuming it might be worth keeping Emily to near the end of a round. Just to finish someone off. Absolutely. So Emily's great for that. She has also only got five health. And if uh, any one of us 
gets knocked unconscious, we lose the game. Oh. So keeping Emily in a bit defensive position is really good because the monsters are going to get to react once we've done all of our actions. Mm -hmm. Jeremy, or Elijah, sorry? Uh, I'm going to go and use an environment. Okay. And I will walk over to here yeah. and pick up whatever this is on okay. the floorboard. So you flip that over onto it. Yeah, we'll see. So that is a six. Now, this is where the fun begins. We have the Legends deck. And in the Legends deck, there are these chapter cards. And there is one corresponding to six, if you'd like to take that lance and show off what's on the other side. OK. Um, an old chair. Range one, five damage. Discard at refresh. Awesome. So you're basically picking up a chair, and you've got one chance to basically smack a monster with it, and then it'll be Sweet. gone. So you take that onto your person. Uh -huh. You can carry one item, but as many items as you want in your inventory. So if you want to equip it, you essentially pop it in an item slot, mm -hmm. and then any other items you get will just go into your inventory and aren't active until you've discarded it. So mm -hmm. I'm carrying around an old chair. You are. Right you have now. a staff in one hand and a chair in the other. You're like a schoolmaster ready to pull a chair out from a student. I'm just waiting <laughs> for the tiger to come out Well, my staff is small. Wood, but this is bigger wood. Bigger wood <laughs> must do more damage. OK, so we have all taken one action. Mm -hmm. So now the monsters are going to yeah. get to react. So the first thing the monsters do is they will move. And this is denoted in the bottom corner here of the little kind of schoolhouse chapter sheet. So they will move first, all one space, towards the closest uh, character. Let's see, I think that'll be this way. And if you wouldn't mind moving him, John, or, yeah, yep, right. him. Now, we would then have them attack. Now, the Shriek Roots, the little um, tree stumps, they have to be in melee range. They have to be in the same square to attack. And the Gobkins, they have a range of one. So currently, none of them are in range at all. So we're going to skip the phase for them attacking, which is great. Mm -hmm. However, before we then pass on to our next turn, what we have to do is move this little pumpkin token across. And next time, we'll have a move, and then a spawn, and then an attack. So each mm -hmm. two rounds, we'll have more and more mobs start to appear. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's back to us again. Um, I would be willing probably to get maybe Emily around to pick up another note, try and get maybe a nice item or a nice chapter bit for you if you liked. Um, yeah, maybe. We kind of we, so there's three more to get on this side of the board here, yep. so we could all work together to go down that What's way. What's your movement, John? Uh, my movement is four spaces. Yeah, Emily actually has a bit more spry movement than anyone else. Yeah. yeah. Can you take the same action in? Another turn. Uh, a very good question. So if we have a look, do you want to put your player board under again? Oh, sorry, sure. Lance. That's you. <laughs> this is very Easy. important to note. Whenever we talked about um, the actions, these three at the top of the board represent universal actions that you can do as many times as you like. The actions on your player cards, though, so for example, my barrage ability is one off, and I have to use all of my actions before that gets refreshed. Mm -hmm. OK. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, you want to do, go get a note? Do, do I want to go get a note, or do I want to hold off the well, shrink I, mean, like, I, I get can rid of it. definitely move up and smack this one in the face. <laughs> OK. So one, two, three, because there's no dark line between here, so I assume yeah, that's all one. That's all that's one, right. yeah. Um, all the zones are indicated by the black line. Yeah, outline, that's yeah. right. Yep. Can I do an environment in here? While he's in while there? While it's in there? You can. Yeah. However, if you try and, I believe you can. Um, uh, but if you try and leave the space while he's there, he's going to get to take a swing at you. OK. Um, so I'm just wondering, would it be worth me running out first, hitting him in the face, and then let John do that? Yeah, so do you want to, do you want to see if Justin and I can finish that guy off and yeah. then leave uh, Mathia, uh, sorry, Elijah and Emily to maybe pick up a couple more notes? Yep, that'll do. OK, so uh, uh, I'll go one, two, and three. OK, and what attack are you going to uh, use? I will just use Smash, which is two dice damage. OK, so grab two dice, roll that in. Three. three. That's pretty awesome, actually. Not bad. So, so he's left two on left. two, yeah? So potentially now, as you said, John, if you wanted, you could use your two to guarantee that he gets killed, and I could go get a note. Yeah, I'll let you get, let you take the note. Sure. Because so I'm, I'm guaranteed damage. You're so. ga yeah, because I, I have to roll a dice plus one. I could potentially roll a zero and not yep. kill it. You want to just do your... I'll do my hunter shot yep. again. Mm -hmm. So that's two damage. Yeah. So that'll just take that streak yep. root out. Bop. And then you could move. You can do your action before or after. So you might want to move in to kind of come around with us anyway. I'll move forward one. OK. Bearing in mind, if you do decide to move forward one, we're going to potentially have a streak root coming to join you, and then it may attack you. So it might be worth moving one and then coming to join us as well. Perhaps so, yeah. yeah, so yeah, move a second Yeah. to mm -hmm. here. OK. And you do have extra movement, so you could actually move so that you're already on a note next turn. Uh, yeah. 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 Is, there any, is there any harm in doing that? So that's three I've moved. Yeah. And yeah. because this one's furthest away, if you move yeah. to there, 
yeah. you still have more than enough movement to get out and away. Mm -hmm. I think I, I think there is, is pretty fine because you and I now, if you if you like, can go and pick up the other two. Yeah, notes. I was going to go pick up this one. Do you want to go get this one because I can reach that one, but I can't reach. Oh no, I can reach that one. So excuse me. So yeah, let's go and let's go and get them. Yeah. Okay. So, so it'll be an environmental one, action. Two. If you want to pick up, it. yeah, sure. And let's see what we get. What chapter number comes up? Five. Five. So, what card do we get? There you go, sir. Ooh, mead. Mead. Beautiful. Three so, heal and calm. So and three discard. heal or calm. It's one or the other. Uh -huh. The great thing about this, though, is it takes three actions. Mm -hmm. And we're going to come to this shortly as the monsters start to get closer to us. But one thing that can happen is you can get fear in the game. And fear adds action tokens to your player board, which isn't good because you want to use all of your action tokens so your board then refreshes and you can then use all your abilities again. If you start stacking up fear on a character, it's bad, you can't get rid of it because fear can't be used for your special abilities. What you can use fear for though is items. Mm -hmm. So this is in your inventory though, so you, your chair is still taking your main hand items, so you don't you can't currently use the mead, but you may be able to in the future. Yeah. Or one of us could pass it off, you could pass it off to somebody. Um, I am then going to do my environment action. And I'm going to move one, two, and three into this back corner here. And I will grab this. So this is a one. So what do I get for one? Oh, OK. So this student's is good. Student. That is the student's journal. So that is one of the two journals that we have to find. Mm -hmm. And the goal is really to get this. And I need to bring this and drop this here at the desk at mm -hmm. the back of the room. Um, now, it wasn't super perfectly clear in the rules, but the way I've, I've deemed it is if we can drop one there and get the second one and then bring it and drop it there as well, that's essentially completing the task. It's bringing the two journals together. Mm -hmm. Thank you. OK, we're all action. Now, up. you yep. said that we can use fear tokens to for our items. Yes. But it doesn't have any uh, negative effects. No, well, using no. fear tokens is absolutely fine. It just counts as using a normal action. And it, the, the negative effect that fear has is if you get to 10 fear in your player board, you will flee and we will lose. Okay. So dying or running away are both ways we could lose the game. Mm -hmm. So monsters then are going to start their action. So first of all, we'll have movement. So each one will move one forward. Right, and do we move, then spawn, then attack? Exactly right. So move first. Now spawning is done. If you'd like to take a white dice, Justin, and roll that in. Two. Wow, you would roll. A pretty tough one. So we're going to get two Shriek Roots. So we grab two of them. And then if you'd like to roll one of the red D6s for the first one. Six. Roll that again. When a six comes up, there's no action for the specific two. chapter. So two. So in the top left-hand corner. Be here. Yep. OK. And then again uh, for the next one. Oh, there. If I don't drop dice everywhere. Uh, six. I want to go again. A one. And a one. So right at the front door there, if you can pop him up. So that's okay. Two Shriek Roots is really not that bad. We could have ended up having two Shriek Roots and two Gobkins, which would have been really bad. I think we're roughly okay. Yeah. Everyone, they've all moved. We've done the spawning. Now they do the attacking. Again, if we have a look at the board, he doesn't have anyone in range because it's blocked by this bookcase. Mm -hmm. Similarly, this Gobkin doesn't because it's blocked by that wall. This Shriek Root doesn't either, and no one else is in melee, so we're absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. So we're good for now, but next turn could be about to get really quite hairy. Yeah. yeah. So back to us again. Mm -hmm. What's the thought? Uh, if you'd like, I'd, I can move up there, get rid of him with the chair. Oh my god, I love the idea of the minister just running up, pulling a chair behind yeah. him and smacking a shriek root that's just walked through the front door and then just push. Yeah, I'm, I'm super so for that. What's, what's your movement, Lance? It's three. It is three. Yeah. So three. one, two, three. And then the chair, because right it's three one. Yeah. So whoa, smash. Text that guy. Right into him. I'm killing him. With his own brother. Oh no! <laughs> wood on wood violence. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> now that will stay, that chair is there for now, taking up your item slot until you refresh. And you uh -huh. will refresh once you've used all of your actions, so in mm. two more actions time. Sweet. Um, I think we're probably going to kind of start coming around this way now and getting the rest of the items. So if you're happy, um, Justin, you could maybe either lead the way or come back and start tanking this busy area in the middle. Yeah, we see, my thinking is uh, I shouldn't be really picking anything up. I should just be doing damage the whole time. So if I go one... It would be two. good to get uh, an item to you because the items are quite beneficial. Mm. Uh, and because each of us can only have one active item slot, it would be lovely to have an item each. But you're exactly right. You want to be the guy taking the hits. So mm. being at the front is the most important role. Well, do, we, do we risk it this time? Do I grab this item just so that no one has to come up that way? I would be willing to, to let you try and, and grab an item and right. we can just unload as much damage as possible. John and I could potentially use a couple of abilities right. to... Well, I, I think I can actually be clever. So if okay. I grab this item... Yeah, so that is... What number is that? Three. Three, okay. You want to grab the three card? Yeah, so... 
So you're using an environment action? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect, actually. Plus that two health. Nice. So that, you can pop that on your character now. Yeah. So here we go. Here's two more health chits to keep track of that. Yeah. And the other thing I can do, mm -hmm. because I've done my action, mm -hmm. I can actually do my movement now. Yep. So if I go one, two, yep. stand in front of this, perfect. he won't move and hit someone who's a lot more squishy. Yeah, so now we have you locking up the main room. And actually, we can end up with all the monsters in one place, which can be quite nice, because some of the abilities that we have actually will hit all monsters in an area. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. Would you like? I'll pick up an item now, I think. So it'll be an environment action. So I'll take my environment action Let's to pick that up. Let's see what we get. For seven. Seven. So. I don't see a seven here. Let's have a wee look. Oh, got it. There it is. So John, you get an Apothecary's Tonic. So this is a one-time use that will give you either five heal or mm. five cam. And then you would discard it. Yeah. That, for you, is pretty good, though, considering you've only got five health, it might be a little bit too late to the party if you've taken five damage, but... Yeah, I'd be can, dead at that point. Can you give other players items? Yes, you can use an environment action to hand off an item to someone, so that if you want to equip it, it'll hop on the item side of your player board. If yep. you want to just put it in your inventory, then it'll be on the inventory side. I'm, I'm going to pass it off, and I'm probably going to... when give I Give it to someone else? I'm probably going to give it to, to Justin. My okay. temptation would be to... Me to take that and me to give the Eldritch Ring to John. Okay. Yeah. Then that gives him seven health. Yep. Yep. We, yeah. Yeah. We ideally want to never let you get in the position that you're taking damage. Um, yeah. But yes, I, I would be well so on board. So my move next. Your move, yeah. Uh, so I have four moves that I can do. So one, two. I think I'm happy there yeah. because this room's tied. This is only coming one square forward. If yeah. something spawns here, it's not going to reach. It's you. not moving there. Yeah, so. Exactly. Um, so that leaves. Matthias, oh sorry, it leaves Elijah and Matthias to go? Uh, no, nope. uh, no, Elijah already, already went into right, just me, here. So it's just me then? Yeah. Um, oh goodness, okay, well I'm going to do as much damage as I possibly can, I think, to this. Actually, can I get, yes I can. So I'm going to spend one of my action tokens on my steady shot. So as part of that, I'm going to go ahead and go one, two, three, join you all in this little front lobby. And I've got a range one shot onto this gobkin just here. Mm -hmm. um, so my pistols give me one die and one damage. And because I'm using steady shot, I get an extra die plus one damage. So two dice plus two. So that's five damage. That's not bad, that's not half health. Bad. So that's five health left on the gobkin. Mm -hmm. Okay, but things are about to get rough now because we're about to have the monsters move and start to kind of gang up on us a little bit. Mm. So this shriek group will move in. Yeah. This gobkin will move to here. That shriek right up the top will move. And then we're going to have the attacks. So both these gobkins are going to attack yep. the Undertaker because you're the closest. So gobkin attacks with one dice plus one. So would you like me to do it to you? Don't do it to yourself. No, no, do it to me. So the first one gets nothing, but it does do one damage. Now you luckily have a heavy cloak, yeah. which will negate that damage. But because you have been hit, you're going to take a fear token. That's okay. So one fear. Now that essentially is going to build up the amount of actions you need to take before you have a refresh. Yeah. And the fear can't be used on your abilities. Yeah. So the next one then will also attack you with dice plus one. Oh. So that's four. But again, you block yeah. one, and so it's three. Three. And unfortunately, whenever you take three or more damage from attack, you take two fear. Oof. So now you're up to three. And if you ever hit ten, you're just running away and we're mm. legends no more. Finally, the Shriek Root then, it rolls just a single dice with no modifier. <laughs> it gets a three. So that becomes two? Two, yep. And you will take a Another fear. Here. Okay. That stacks up really quick. Stacks up yeah. very yeah. fast. Um, there was me thinking I'm a tank, I'm fine. Now, the good thing is we really haven't seen Elijah's kind of kick into gear, because Elijah does have blessings he can cast, yep. which can allow him to heal or calm you. So don't worry, you've got the minister's support behind you. Okay. Okay. So that's all the monsters. We'll now move the pumpkin token across to show that next round we will have a spawn as well as all the moving and attacking. Yeah. All of a sudden things have gotten very, a, uh, bit, a bit more serious, a bit more nervous yeah. around the table. Yeah. <laughs> I can maybe start off with healing or calming Justin. So, uh, so I would probably go calming. I'm okay on health at the moment. Okay. Yeah. So, so we need to calm Jeremiah. So I'm um, giving you a nice back rub. Yeah. Would you like to move as part of that action? Um, you can move see. in one if you liked. I think I'm okay. You think there. you're okay at the front door? Yeah, I've got quite a, a decent amount of range, so I'm. I would very much like to propose that Emily unleashes a kill shot yes. on 
this. Hi. Could you have much. five? Have you you haven't used your kill shot yet? No. No. Okay. I've used and I've only got one action left, so my last action needs to be fairly important. Because it will then refresh. Yep. Yeah. I would absolutely the Emily line up a kill shot. So I'll go ahead and do that if yep. everyone else is happy. Uh, buying for the the kill shot, five, five damage. damage. Yep. Okay. Huh. Not just for five damage. Just five, five damage. Five damage is majorly Goodness. good. Mm. Okay. okay. So that leaves Undertaker and Matthias. Uh -huh. Any plans? Do you just want to thunk the uh, Shriek Root? What I'm thinking is, if you can you shoot the Shriek Root and this kill one? it? I can try. Because then I can walk up into the next one yeah. and start laying into it. I don't think I'm going to be able to kill this, unfortunately, because I only do one dice plus one damage, which means the maximum I can do is four. So this uh, guy is not going to be killed. Um, what's, what's your other one? My yeah. other ability is one area, two damage to all foes in the area. Right. So it's great if we can get a few grouped up together. Mm. Okay, uh, in that case, I will just do a smash. Okay. For On the guy dice. in front of you? Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's see it. Three. That's awesome. So that's going to leave that street group with two health. And I would you like to try and move? The, the downside is if you try and move out of a space with an enemy, they get to attack you. The plus side is, though, even if they hit you, you don't gain any fear mm -hmm. because you're basically running from them. Yeah, I'll try for a move. Wait, so where do you think about going to? I'll go to here. Okay, so it's going to get to swing a one dice attack against you. And get a one, which is blocked yep. um, by your defensive heavy cloak. Yep. Is and then I will go uh, two fear? and three. Doesn't get a fear because he's running away from it. Oh. So we don't need to worry about that. Yep. So I've went three up to there. I must admit, I'm not a huge fan of how far you've run away from us all. <laughs> um, but okay, I think, we, I think we should be all right. Assuming I can... Because right now, if you go as far as you have, you're now three spaces away from this guy, which means he's uh. going to come towards us. Right. So it might be considering maybe staying here, okay. so at least you're drawing some attention. Okay. Is that is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, I don't want to be left out in the open. Um, okay, I'm going to try and take this guy out then with his two remaining health. So mm -hmm. for me, that will require my last action to go to a hip shot. I get one dice plus one. Just need any number at all would be good. Yes, perfect. So he's dead. That's that streak right out of there. Okay, so everyone's actioned up again. Mm -hmm. So now it's back yes. to the monsters. Here now we go. Get to move spawn. Yeah, so this one's going to move one. Now it's tied two distance between us here and two distance here. But as denoted by the chapter, the Undertaker is the attack priority, so it will move one towards you. Yep. The uh, Shriek Root will then move in. So we then got spawning. So Lance, would you like to roll us a spawn dice and see what kind of creatures? Please, attack first. Before uh, no, spawn? they spawn first. Okay. <gasps> oh, oh my Lance, why? Word. Why you do this? So two shriek roots and two gobkins. If you want to grab two of each piece, John, and then a d6. We'll go through the shriek roots first. So the first one's going to go to two. Pop that uh -huh. in the corner. Yeah. Next one then. Going to go six. Roll that again. Five. So it's in this over corner. Here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Everybody's fingers there. One. One. Oh. Uh oh. Gobkin right behind. That's very bad. That's right at the front door. And one. Oh, Undertaker. That's super bad. So we've had two Gobkins join us up here. We've had one Shriek Root down in the corner and then one Shriek Root up in that corner right there. <sighs> that is actually... <laughs> Horrible. Terrible. Now, luckily, yeah. they will not attack now. They Because they've attacked first. Uh, they move, sorry, uh, then they spawn. Oh, actually, sorry, they will attack now. I'm wrong. Yeah. Oh, this is actually really bad. Undertaker, okay. where have you gone? It's okay, they'll miss. They're just plants. Okay. <laughs> why, why the hell are you guys Fine. hanging back there with the monster just came in the window? <laughs> so, let's run through the attacks. We'll do this one down here first because it's right. nice and straightforward. So it's just a, uh, a gobkin rolling one dice plus one against you, Justin. So it's going to do three damage. That'll go down to two, though. Yeah, so I'll take two. And one fear. Yeah. Okay. Um, we now have a Shriek Root who's going to prioritise the Nixon order, which is the Minister. So that's not too bad. So he's going to do... Oh my word! He's <laughs> three damage. There's um, no plus one in that, no. No plus one in that. Oh, that's right, just, okay. and you will take two fear. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty scared. Um, so the minister now has four health left, and there's two monsters left to attack him. No, they always attack him. They always it attack. Work down. Uh, well, no, actually, sorry, you're you're actually 100 percent right. What will happen is, I believe, again, these these rules are early. What will happen is, it will now go through one person in each of the spaces. So we'll now have one onto me, and then one onto Emily. Yeah, I would have um, left that shriek root till the end. We now have onto you. Yeah, shriek root onto me is going to do four. Oh my! And that's going to be two fear for me. But he me. gets two dice. Does he not? No, one dice plus one. Ah. The final one then. Onto John. Onto John. Onto Emily. 
I just oh. rolled three threes. Dude, um, what are you trying to do? This is a cooperative game. Four damage. Maybe I'll just hold on to this tonic. Yes, I think yeah, maybe keep in that tonic for yourself. And I you take two want to fear. And drink. Um, two wow, fear. and two fear. Yeah. Okay, so I currently have two health and have two fear. John has one health and two fear. <laughs> John has four health and two fear. I have five, uh, health and two fear. five health and two fear. Okay, so my proposed solution to this problem is we have to kill this Shriek Root. And luckily, John is in a very good position to do that because he can take out in one hit. And then we can freely run away without fear of those catching up for a couple of turns to give us a couple of turns to get some health back. Can, I, ta can I take it out in one hit, though? Well, luckily... Oh, no. I've you're just gained fear. fear. What yeah. would have happened is John would have used all four Hold actions, on. which means he'd get a refresh. Hold on oh. for a second. Uh, if I use my heal all, my cleansing right, mm -hmm. so I hold up my staff, yeah. like with the cleansing right, <laughs> save us, and a big flash of bright light. You have to use a flash red, red token. It has to be red, it has to be, oh, red. Has can't can't be items, okay. And I heal all allies uh, for three, Yeah. Uh, and three damage to all foes. And it, it doesn't area unfortunately one. give you. So, do you uh, want to do it? Get rid of your fear. In our area? So he doesn't get rid of fear, but that's to be honest, that's fine. I oh, think. so I can move maybe to here and heal. Well, uh, just no, it's more important well. to do it here. So if you just do it in here, yeah, mm -hmm. I think that's a good. Move. That'll take three damage. Yeah. yeah, you'll all heal three. Yeah, I can then finish that off. Yeah, and yes. then, so then you'll be able to run I'd away like, and heal. Yes, I'd like to do that. Okay, so Matthias's, oh sorry, Elijah's sorry special ability will let us all heal three in this area and that yeah. will do three damage as well so you're going to put two health please justin on the street group oh my word good timing the Lots. difficulty is as we start to have a lot of fear building up on our player boards it becomes harder and harder to get rid of it because it will not go away on a refresh it will stay mm -hmm. so we really need to try and get rid of that fear as soon as possible and mm -hmm. um, you could try and move now if you want you're going to take a hit from a street group but that'll be better than taking two hits from two gobkins so i think yes. moving uh, I will move. Yeah. Uh, let's see. One, yeah, one, two. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, two. Yeah. I would stay there. I would, I would stay st there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was considering moving in, but best of a bad situation. He will move there. in mine. He will indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now you're going to take that attack because because you jumped out of the yeah, air. Yeah. Hang on. I'm going to do this. Okay. All right. Okay. So one damage onto you, which will not give you any fear because you were running away. So mm -hmm. that's. Fine. I'll try and finish this and let you get away. Okay. Hopefully. So I'm going to just use one of my fear tokens that I got. I was I was also going to get to refresh, but now I'm not. So I have to use a fear token on a hip shot. So this yep. is one dice plus one damage. Anything but a blank. <laughs> <laughs> I've noticed every time you call a dice. Yep. It's a skill. Yeah. It's a skill. It's a curse. Um, so that's one damage to the street group. Yeah. If you wouldn't mind doing the one damage, please, Justin. Yeah, so it's on one. Um, I, I have to run away, so... I'll... <laughs> I, think, I think healing and running for you is going to be, be the best option, so I'm going to just go ahead and go one, two as well, yeah. and let's do some damage. Oh, my word. So I take three. Yeah, sorry. I'm down to two health. It's okay. It's fine. No fear, though. <laughs> um... I think just so your options are either shoot it and run or shoot it and heal. I would shoot it and run. I'm thinking of shooting and running. Yeah, or shoot and sorry, not run shoot and run. gun. Run and run and heal or run and shoot. I would shoot and run. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to do that. Okay. <sighs> so you'll do a basic attack, killing it. Yep. Yeah. Just called a, a steady shot. Hunter, oh, hunter shot. shot. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and then, then freedom of away. Run, if you run Emily. Up, you're run with everybody else. Uh, yeah. So one. Two. Yeah, I think yep. that gives you the most kind of free range to shoot as well. I was actually, yeah, I suppose. You could go right back to the desk, yeah, if you. Three. Yeah. I'll chill out in the desk. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm still the priority up here, so they'll start yeah. walking up here and going after do me. Some admin yes, you work. Are. I'll you do some You guys admin can sort of clear this out and go exploring it. Okay, Arson. now the monsters. So, this guy? No, the move. monsters. Uh, I've not went yet this round. Oh, no, you haven't. Sorry, forgive me. Yeah, that's good. So I will walk in here. Okay. And I will go for man. a wild swing. Okay. One dice times three damage. Oh, this could be big. It's risky, but... Yeah. Ugh, three. Just three damage. So he's got seven health left. Yeah. 
I was um, hoping to get three on that. That way, it would have been nine. Damage. It was worth. It was absolutely worth the shot. I think. Um, Okay, so now the monsters. Yep. So we don't need to worry about moving him because you've gone square up to him. This shriek root will come one. That one will come this way one. Uh, those two will then move forward as well. They're thankfully out of range, so we only have to deal for with now the with me. the one hitting you. So uh, I'm not. You can roll your own dice now because you've right. been so harsh to me. So three uh, uh, dice plus one. Sorry, so it's two damage. So it's one damage. So we're just by one by your armor, and you will take a fear. There you go. <laughs> okay, so I've got one fear left. John's got one fear. I'm still on two health, though. Um, yeah. Um, you can always rest yourself. One of your common actions is to rest where you can heal two or calm two. So it might be worth while trying to get you calm so you can then heal us all again soon as an option. Uh, yes. Uh, I could I could use the mead, though, and just heal myself yeah. and calm myself. Or you could also, time. if you... We used your blessing. You could actually mm. calm Justin for three, yeah. which would get rid of all his fear because you have none left, and yeah. that would be ready for you to refresh with all your abilities back. Yeah. That means you could potentially thunk the mm -hmm. goblin yeah. and the nunk with your spade. Okay, I will happily do that. Uh, okay. Three heal and or calm. So three calm. Three yeah. So awesome. Yeah. Right. You you do have a move as part of that, but really, mm. what if I moved in here and ah, picked but that hang up? on. Hmm? Well, is that not? Needing a red token and Lance is still on. No, fear. Uh, that's not an ability. That is actually one of his common. Oh, it's his mate. Yeah, so okay. that's Elijah. All right, so these go away. Yeah. So important thing to note: if you don't move, what will end up happening is we'll see these gobkins come forward into this space and then be able to be in range. So it's probably worthwhile moving uh, one square that way or one square back. Can We're I? If, can I escape this gobkin? No? You can if you move into here and then try and move past it. That's hundred percent, but it'll get to swing at you once. Yeah. Or you move into here and buy a little time. Yeah, I'm kind I of okay with buying a bit of time. You're calm, man. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, we're all bugging we'll into in, a I'll, corner. I'll hunker in with John. Um, be fine. Okay. The good thing is that now we have a chance to kind of refresh Justin. John and I are both one fear token away from being refreshed, which means as soon as these two gob can come in range, hopefully we can jump back out again and, and deal with them quickly. Right. Um, if it's alright, I'll go for a practiced smash okay. on the, the Gobkin. Seven health Gobkin. So what's this going to give you? Two dice plus two damage. Two dice plus two. So we're looking for five. We get three. That's still five damage in total. That's yeah. pretty tasty. So it's going to have two health left. Perfect Emily killing range if we wanted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you want to move or just stay where you are? If you stay there, the Gobkins are going to be in range next turn. If you move, you're still going to take an attack. The, One attack versus two attacks. I'm better moving out of the way. Okay. So move yourself into up here, maybe. Well, this is what I'm thinking. If I move into there, I can start searching through some of that. Um, yeah, but it kind of blocks you guys in. Tough decision. <laughs> Tough decision. I don't know. <laughs> All right, I'm going to play dangerously. Okay. So I'm going to move out to here. Yeah. Now, if you stay there, you're going to take. No, hang on. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to do the roll. Okay. One, one damage. So it's two damage in total, but negated by one for your cloak, so that's just one. And that's you fine. don't take a fear because you're running. Uh -huh. And I will move into here. Okay. So this little guy can hit me, but he's not coming after you guys. Well, bear in mind, I haven't moved yet, so... Yeah, but if you kill this... Or, well, Emily's going to kill this. Yeah. If you take a I shot at this, I'll not even be able if to kill it him. dies. Yeah. But it, it does mean that this little dude isn't hurting anybody. Mm. I can maybe finish him next turn. The rest of you can get in here, mm. get these searched. Stop. I, I must admit, I wouldn't be keen for you to run into another fight straight away when he, we could still distance ourselves from him for another turn. But I get what you're saying. It's, it's, it's a tough call. I think this is, this is what I want to do. I think okay. this is going to be our best option. Okay, I just hope it does not hit you for three damage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, even if it does, my cloak knocks it back by one, mm, so I'll be left will. on one. Okay, well, I'll take your steer. So everyone's gone but me, is that right? I haven't. Oh, no, oh Emily, do you, would you be willing to finish off? Yep. I'll just put a hunter, a hunter shot on so that. So straight in from the back of the desk, straight into the scorpion. I'll take yep, him yeah. down. So what John could do now is go one, two, three. You've up to four movement, and you reasonably see if anywhere you go, but I think we need to get somebody away from this desk, so you're... One, two, three. Lovely. And then next turn you can grab that and maybe uh, get something useful. I can also refresh as well. Okay, yeah. So what I shall do then is... Uh, hmm. 
I'm really tempted to try and get an environment action, but the tricky thing is I would have to move first, so let's not do that. I'm just going to go ahead and shoot this Shriek Root. Um, I'm going to keep my... I, I hope, my hope here is that I can refresh next turn, because I have an area to two damage all foes, which would be great to do four damage out to those two guys. So yeah. I'm thinking if we can get them both together in one place, that would be really ideal. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'll just shoot from here to here. That'll give me one dice plus one for two damage. That's not best but not the worst. Okay. So and then I would suggest health. use your move to move back one. Yes, uh, thank you for suggesting. I will move back. Okay, so everyone's gone? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Monsters move an act. Yeah, they, we did yeah we just spawned last turn, is that right? Did yeah we? we did. Yeah. Did I get to refresh now? Um when are we activate. Uh, okay. no we didn't spawn last turn because they moved they spawned and then they moved yep. afterwards. So yeah we actually have to Oh, we, have to, we have to spawn again, again oh, now. God. Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, um, they move first. Yeah. Move and move, and in the long room. Yep. Now we've got spawning. Uh huh. So Justin, you want to roll the dice, and we really need a blank or a one here. Oh God. Oh man, that is. Yep. That's two more Shriek Roots and two more Goblins. Now we did say we're playing on Legends mode, which means a three equals this many monsters, but you don't have to play on Legends mode yeah. when you play the game. All right. For the two Shriek Roots. Yep. So one and a five. One and five. Okay, and five's down here. Ah. Oh. Okay, and for the two goblin. Yeah. Oh, five and two. two. And five. Oh, that's actually. <laughs> now, do these come in in the order that they come through the? Uh, it doesn't matter. Or? It won't matter because they're both going to get a, a chance to sort of uh, attack now. Okay. Um, it does, however, mean there's a goblin in range to attack me. It does. Die. Yep, it does. What have I you done, Justin? <laughs> you've, you've killed yourself. I and think we may be about to lose here unless we get very lucky. Um, Possibly. <laughs> so we have one Street Grit to attack you, Justin, and one Gobkin to attack you. Do you I'll let you choose what way you want to do it. Street Grit. You should let Az roll these. No. So it'll do no damage, but it will give you a fear. That's fine. And then the Gobkin will do you a dice plus one. So one two damage. damage, one that down to one. And again, you will get a fear. Thank goodness we got you refreshed. <laughs> um, <laughs> we are about to get gobkinned to a death. Yeah. Okay, we think we really need to take a second just to think about this next phase. What are we, what's our priority? Heal here? me, heal me. Um, Can I give Justin my mead? You could as an environmental action. Yes, you could indeed. He would have to give up his ring, though. Which is plus two health. Which, which is currently keeping down. him alive. Mm -hmm. Well, I can, I can bless him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's the range? Would you rather? Well, it's um, uh, range three. His staff is range three, so he's got no problem yeah. getting that. So it's no, either would, three. Would you rather have? I'll uh, take three health. Cam. I will take the health. Okay. For the love of God, I will take the health. Um, Elijah, would you be willing to move maybe out this direction to start getting ready to tank that? Is this me now refreshed? Well, next turn it will be. <laughs> yeah, which is which is potentially fantastic. But I um, have to discard this. Actually, oh no, you only had a fear left. No, oh, damn. So you don't refresh just yet, you refresh whenever you yeah, go yeah. to take an action. Because um, yes, your restore ability, which gives three health and three can, would be amazing, but because of the fear stacked up, you can't use fear for actions. Pain in the bum. Um, do you want to move away from the Gobkins again? Because if they do come forward next turn, they're going to get all of us. Um, so I've got a movement of three spaces. Mm -hmm. um, one, yeah. two, three. <laughs> yeah. Hiding in the corners. This, Hi, John. Oh, this is totally legit. legit. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> I mean, I assume you are hitting and running. Is yeah, I'm going to go for a regular smash. Okay. I will use a fear to do it. Okay. So it's two dice. Two dice. You really want to see a three total here. Oh. Stop calling stuff! No oh way. God! Oh. All right, uh, I'm gonna have to try and run anyway. You otherwise, you I'm pretty much to. guaranteed dead. Yes, you have to. So I will run for one. It'll take its swing of one at me. Yeah. It'll <gasps> do two damage. Yep. Thank uh, God for healing. Otherwise, you would have been dead. Well done. And go. Two so that's more. one, two, and three. Yep. And I think that's in range of the two gobkins that are about to come around the corner. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. However, oh. if I had moved to here, you can't do that. You can't he'll move one. sacrifice yourself. In I'm the not corner. sacrificing myself though, because this yep. will move one. Yep. This will all move one. Yep. I'm not getting attacked. Yep. But it does mean that then you guys can maybe come in from the back. 
and save me. Why, why do I feel like when I said, Justin, don't go that way? And he's like, no, no, I like my plan. Um, I, I think this is his decision to go into the corner might actually yeah. be the best thing to do. If we <laughs> can get them grouped up, it's best for us. Because um, <clears throat> these are one, two, three, four. Which means they're going to come after us. They'll go one, two, three. Yeah. But they can't reach you this turn if you run out around to here. Oh, man. This is dead bad. This is dead bad. <laughs> um, yeah, I, th I actually generally think you hiding in the corner like an undertaker who made a grave mistake. Oh! <laughs> bad. Bad ass. Thanks, buddy. Uh, I think that's actually the best course of action, but it only gives us two rounds to support, to get you out of there. Yeah. You're going to probably have to spend a lot of actions just healing. Yeah, I think that's what I'm literally going to sit and do. Okay, okay. So in fact, I would have been better that turn running and healing. Um... <laughs> I mean, you could step out and take a pot shot and kill that one. Um, the, in oh. fact, that's a terrible idea or because if you do, you, you could take the pot shot. Um, I can take it f from where you are. Yeah. No, I can't. I've only range one. Oh. Um, so I'm not going to pot shot it. And the tricky thing is, none of us want to finish our turns on any of these four squares. Yeah. Because then these two guys are going to come in and make our days miserable. Well, I would like to go because I want to refresh. Yes, I think that's a perfect idea. So I'm going to refresh. And I'm probably going to environment because I'm sitting there. Uh, okay. I may get an item that might be useful. But you may, you could kill shot that trick root. But it has to be in the same, I'm more concerned about the bigger guys. And you do have a turn space to actually do this because the shriek root won't get to you this turn. Yeah. I'm for we it, are, We are this safe. treasure hunting. I'm okay. safe yeah. here. I'm not, but okay. Let's do it. Let's see what you're going to... So environment action? Environment. Okay. So what do you got? flipping over this little token. What do we get? What do we get? We get a... Is that a six? It'll be nine. orange side down. It's a nine. Nine. So we've done the bottom of the deck, Justin. Nine? Yeah. Yep. Is it good? Is it bad? <gasps> oh, it's so, journal. So bring it down a little bit there, Justin, just so everyone can see. So that what? is actually... <laughs> that is actually the second journal we need. Who has the other journal? I have the other journal and I'm standing on the desk right now. Right. Put it in the desk. Put it in the desk. <laughs> you could now, if you really wanted, yep. you could move. Yep. But if you do move to the desk, those two gobkins are coming. It's fine. It's worth it. It's fine. I don't think it is. I think they will dead you. I think we have to but hold. But you're the priority, as. What do you mean I'm the priority? You're going to get, get the attacked priority first. target. So you'll get hit first. I've got two health. Yes, but you could heal right now. But I can also drop the journal on the desk. I have to use an environmental action to drop the journal. <sighs> can we survive? <laughs> no. We have to. We, I know we've got both we journals, but if we make out. a dash for the desk now, we're going to get absolutely swarmed. <laughs> Justin's not happy about this. He wants to make a dash. Oh, you see, I'm, tr I'm, I'm trying to math it. You can't. Do, 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 do. Just the <sighs> math time. No. 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 It's just not feasible. What they if? will move up towards you guys, though, so John won't be fit to get through them. We ha we're going to have to kill at least two goblins. I have a... No. <laughs> <laughs> um, see, I think we'll just... <laughs> oh. <laughs> see, I'm actually looking at doing something crazy. Okay? You've already done one, something I crazy. Mean, you've done two things crazy. I you've mean, abandoned you're us. You're out of crazy <laughs> right now. I'm sorry, I got terrified, but if John moves... Yeah. Oh no, because then he gets hit with that. No, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I would suggest that you do use your movement action, but to move away, not so to possibly move around the corner and into here. Into a potential spawn. Into it. Mm. But that's they're not spawning an, this turn. That's an incredibly good point. They aren't Are they? spawning this turn. They aren't spawning this turn. Um, no. Well, yeah. <laughs> Run, one, John! Two, two, three. So, one, two, three, four. I like yeah, the spot out that we now have Emily <laughs> in a separate room from Elijah, <laughs> in a separate room from Matthias, <laughs> in a separate room from Jeremiah. We have split the party. <laughs> TPK, TPK. It always works in Scooby Doo, right? Yeah. <laughs> and in Cabin in the Woods. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I'm clever enough to set up a cunning trap. So, am I the last one left to act? Yeah. So, I just have a fear to use. He's just going to um, cry in the corner. I, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's legit. Um, you need to heal. We know these things are coming at us anyway. You need I'm hoping that whenever 
Elijah gets to refresh, he's going to be able to drop a big heal bomb. So I'm actually thinking, how can we all get to the same space next turn? Because if these goblins all move to here, we all want to get there and just... Is it not within a range of three, though? So if I cast it, it's in with one area, yeah. but a range of three. But ideally, we would like to be in the same space that you're casting it so we can all benefit from your heal as well as the damage. All right, okay, Do you want a clump? Yeah. Um, do okay. we, do so we want to just risk all getting to the desk? I'm look. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna spend a fear to do an environment action. And I'm gonna drop the desk. I'll drop the journal. Sorry. Okay. On the desk. Drop the desk. <laughs> drop, drop the desk. And then I'm gonna spend my move. Uh -huh. um, I'm gonna go one, two, hello, <laughs> right to here. Okay. Right. Okay. Monsters phase. Is it? Monsters phase. So movement first. So yeah. Yep. So that's forward. to there. Yep. To there. Yep. To there. Yep. They will there. go to here. They will indeed. He'll go to here. Hello, yep. He'll go to One here. forward to there, yep, that's yep. it. And he'll go to here. That's yep. That's it's them. about so as grim as it could look. Um yep, flip the pumpkin across. We have no attacks, is that right? No attacks, no attacks. at all. Okay. I refresh. You do refresh. I refresh as well. Uh, I lose my chair. Oh no! But you do gain three heal or three calm as a mead. Now the great thing about the mead now, if you want to put that as your item, you can do that. Um, you can use three tokens on it, which will speed up how quickly you can refresh, which is great. And you can also use fear on items as well. Mm -hmm. I can use three tokens at one time? Yes, three tokens. Yeah, exactly right. Three in a row. So you'll clear in one, in in one go. Yep. Oh wow! Yeah, it's very strong. Doesn't it, that's why the three hail or cam is kind of on par with what you can do anyway. Yes. But getting rid of three tokens is great. Yeah. Okay. Let's not lie. Your turn's pretty straightforward. So, do you want to get it out of the way, or do you want to come back? Uh, <laughs> leave me to the end. Oh, oh no, he's going to try <laughs> something daring in this corner. I know that tone. Uh, <clears throat> okay. So, what are we doing then? We need to get John over to that notebook. Well, I see. I was going to suggest Her now death. that John has kill shot available, mm -hmm. you could kill shot this street group. Yep. You and I then could both hop in beside these two gobkins and drop our two AoE attacks. Now it won't kill them, mm -hmm. but it'll heal us both by three. It'll do three damage and mine will do two damage. So they'll both be down to half health. Yeah. Yeah, Justin's got a There's a but. Oh, there's always a but. If John moves to here, yep. this can attack. And on a three on the dice he would go down. What, is, suppose. what yeah. is John's um, area of effect? I don't believe John has an area of effect. No, he either has five damage or mm. one dice plus two damage. He's a power shot or a kill shot. He's basically so it's just myself and you. Yeah, we have the two kind of area effects. Okay. I, I don't. <laughs> I'm not offering great solutions. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm just. Is there? What if I walk out to here, and you would take three attacks? Would I? You yeah, take one every time you tried to leave. Okay, yeah. What if I walk out here and take this guy on? Maybe? The next turn, though, because then we could maybe deal something to those. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so in, in, my way, in my mind, the best thing we can do is if I do two damage, that's four damage. And if mm -hmm. you do three, that's, that's six. We're, we're putting 10 damage down here, mm -hmm. which is really high numbers. We could then have John either kill shot one of these or kill shot the street route. But the advantage of kill shot in the street route is we can walk through with impunity without taking extra attacks. Mm -hmm. And it means you've got seven health to deal with two Godkin attacks, which yes. Mathematically, might not be enough, but just saying, I won't roll the dice. The downside is John will take a. a what do you think, John? Hmm? What would you like to do? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, hang on. Hang on. Have confidence. John's the one that has to get to the desk, right? Yep. Yep. So, what if one of you kills this, mm -hmm. and John risks it to run through to here? Neither of us can kill that. Neither. Together, if you both kill this. That's using two people's worth of actions to kill a single monster. But that leaves John free to do an environment or try and run through and drop yep. it off. Okay. He'll take two attacks from two Gobkins, each yes. doing a damage minimum. Yes. And even if they do a single two damage more, he would be dead. I so it's either he takes damage from one Gobkin <coughs> or two Gobkins. But if we don't do that, whatever happens over here, I'm dead and we lose. I'm okay with that. <laughs> 
You mean to remove two from the You dug your grave, my lion. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> it, I think it's uh, it's a case of we either go for it and go for the win, or we die and lose. I think we have Word. enough healing to survive longer. Maybe I should just be a card environmental where I am and pick up that other <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Aim true. Aim but. steady. So, so what? I'm saying kill the sweet fruit. Justin's saying run for the desk and take three attacks. Yeah. No, take two attacks after you two try and kill that together. Not guaranteed, but yes, we could try that. No. We, we can't do that. Last but sure was your vote. Because even if I roll a damage, the best I can do is three damage. The best I can do if I use an ability is two dice plus two, which could be five. Mm -hmm. Given my rolls, it might not be. It could be two or nothing. Interestingly, whenever there's a tie or uh, the group can't come to consensus, it is actually Emily Van Winkle who takes priority. <laughs> she decides. Is it Van Winkle? It is Van Winkle, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, you do have the... the I have the authority to say. You do. No pressure. Sweet. So we have plans. But which plan do you like best? All right, Justin's dead anyway, so I'm going to kill the street route. <laughs> so you're going to pick up that. <laughs> no, you can actually do it from there if you want to, because you yep. have line of sight to him. Yep. So I'll use a red token to kill shot up. Yep. Take him right out of there. Bam. Nice. Well, now uh, you can move. I don't want to move because I've got these things. <laughs> um, Come move in with us. Yeah. I'm trying to think, is there a better way you could move to not take? I can't, because if I move to here, that one will get me. Yep. If I move to here... These two will get But if me. you move to here, yeah, come and, uh, come if you actually come us. and join us in there, you'll actually be out of the shot range. Come and hunker no, in with us. Because uh, I'm passing through this one's yeah. range, I'm passing through but this one's range. You'll be into the there. equal range as us two, and we will take the shot before you do. But I'm the only one there. No, but come right into here. Come right into the, the back corner. So I'm still taking this one. No, not not until not until it not activates. Until they activate, yeah. Oh, you only take hits from them if you walk into their into their square. So All right, what, so not into their range. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So uh, would this be a case of Lance maybe healing you by three? And well, Lance is going to heal both of us by three. Yeah. And deal three damage. Well, if you do it from where you're at, everybody in the party there gets healed. But then we do no damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> unless, unless we just make a full heal, health dash to the table at <laughs> the end. <laughs> But then he'll be dead by then, so the game will be over. <laughs> we have to kill these gobkins. Um, we can't leave them up. I can I can heal John to give him... He's only got I'm one only health. Down He's one. Only, yeah, he won't give him very much. you only oh. give me one health. Okay. I'm down four. I'm two out of a maximum six. Well, I can heal you, at least. Because you can do... You're the most damage dealing yep. out of myself and you. So I'll heal you for three. Okay. Maybe. Okay. Bear with me. Let me go first, right? I'm, yeah. I'm going to do a barrage, and I'm going to move, and I'm going to go one, two, right into them. Uh huh. Okay. And I'll so barrage the heal bomb them. Heal bomb them, and mm -hmm. I'll do two damage to each. So each has eight health left. Mm -hmm. So eight health for that guy, mm -hmm. and eight health for that guy. And if you now heal bomb, and then come and join me in there, you'll take a hit, and I'll take a hit, and we'll both survive. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. Uh, so is he walking in to heal bomb? I, well, no, I heal bomb heal first bomb and, then, and then walk in. Either or is, is fine. So one area, heal all allies. What if I just walk in? Oh, yeah, you in? walk in and then do it. Yeah, yeah, perfect. So walk in. So, yep. Yep, straight in. Straight in. Fire Hello, your, fellas. what's that actually called? It's called cleansing clean, right. Cleansing right. Grab my staff. Big, big shining light. Cleansing right. <laughs> 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 so I heal three up to five. You heal, uh -huh. heal one up to seven, your maximum. Uh -huh. We do three damage to each of them. So, so they're both now on half there. health. Uh -huh. And this means each one of us will take a hit. You'll take one and then I'll take one. So we uh -huh. should be fine. Uh -huh. The problem is... This. <laughs> that is I've, kind of, <laughs> I've kind of not written Justin off, but I just know there's nothing we can do from right this second. But we yeah. might be able to get to him even just to lure them away next turn. Because if we walk into their space, then Justin will be fine. Mm -hmm. But we need one of us to be healthy enough to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I, have the, I have this tonic I could give to someone next turn. Um, so what does that do? Five heal five slash heal, tam? Yep. So it's heal, probably five heal then. Oh man, this is too stressful. Mm. Okay. <laughs> We've done all of our actions? No. Yeah. No? no? Oh, Justin we have the big man. Is. Okay. All right. So, so my options are either heal up and try and shoulder bars through them. 
or you, I just go for an attack. You need to buy time. You don't need yeah, to run at up. them. You need to buy time. What I was thinking was one, two, three. We get me to there. And you'll die on the way. <laughs> you, uh, Might not. You'll die on the way. No, no just rest up. Just rest. All right. I will sit here and rest and gain two health. Yes, so you're on five. Good lord, it's <laughs> it's so difficult to keep the, the Undertaker calm. <laughs> <laughs> See, my thinking was, I'm now taking three damage, or three attacks, though. No, you're taking two. You're taking one from the Gobkin mm. and one from the Street Grit that's going to move into your space. So you're still... Uh, okay. Because if you tried to run right now, you'd, you'd, get atta- you'd get attacks off all of them. Yeah. Okay, fine. We're coming. We're coming for you. Don't worry, Jeremiah. We're going to try and get there. No, we're not. We are. <laughs> going to <laughs> Just okay. don't tell him, but we're not. So they will move. <laughs> yep. So one in. He's got two health left. One in. Um, this guy will move. It's both the same, actually, realistically. Yeah, there. Thanks. Fine. Uh, yeah. Okay. Spawn. So. John hasn't rolled it yet. No, we have to spawn more, more monsters. John, you haven't you rolled roll? it yet. <sighs> There you go, John. Please be a blank. Oh. Three. Oh. <laughs> I've murdered us all. That's, that's horrible. Is that three it's okay. threes they, they in they a can, row? Yeah. They can spawn. Don't uh, roll out single five. So two, two shriek roots on. Roll those two roots. Yeah, John, I will let you roll no, these don't. as well. I'll kill Just roll them in. Roll them in. Oh, oh, Justin's definitely. All right, no, shriek roots. No, no shriek fives. Ones, ones and threes. Ones and, oh, well. A okay. shriek root on five. That's not bad. And a shriek root on three. So three is fantastic. The five yeah. is... Less than optimal. It's less than optimal. So and now the ones we're really... The Gopkins, no fives. We need, we need twos, ones and threes. Uh, three and four. That's not awful. So, f- well, that's kind of bad. Where's the three up there? Oh, my. This is even less desirable. Um, now they're going to attack. Okay. Yeah. So, thankfully, this is kind of straightforward. Shall we just on me? Yeah. So you've got a shriek root on you. So it's, this is a single dice, two uh, damage down to one. Yep. Yeah. Which means you take a fear. I will then have the gobkin on you. Dice plus one it becomes dice two. Two. Yep. Yeah. So I've got two health left. And you've got another fear. <laughs> two health and four fear on the undertaker. No, no, stay away, stay okay. away. Then we have a gobkin on each of us. Do you want to roll your own gobkin, lads? Sure. Blank it is. A one. one. It becomes two damage. Two damage. Two damage. And a fear. Take a fear. And it has. <laughs> I want to roll my own. Die. Oh, two damage. Okay. And I take a fear. And then we have a final gobkin, this one up here, to shoot. It's actually equidistant. Um, so, and he does, I believe, I'm not 100% sure on this, but I believe from where he is, he can draw a line of sight. I'm not 100% sure, though. Uh, um, well, it's range one. Yeah. Oh, yes, of course. It's so like apologies. Doesn't. Yeah. So we're done attacking. Yes. Okay. Um, right. If you two bomb this again. We can't, we can't bomb it again. That was a once action. Uh, <laughs> Wrath only does one damage. What does yours do? Mine, uh, I could potentially steady shot for two dice plus two. So I could I could potentially take out one, and you could potentially drink your mead, which could get, get rid, rid of, of fear and fear. heal yourself ready for the next person to attack you. The downside being you only get in two health, not three. That's okay. I think you guys should kill one here, and John should just run through for an environmental. Okay, yeah. I, I'm, I'm pleased to try that. a second. What if I heal John? You'd you only need to take out one. You take out one. That means they only have one attack on John. Yeah. Yeah, I agree, but I think let, well, guys, let me try and kill one, and then we'll see who we heal. Yeah, you yeah. guys need to get at least one of them out of the way. I can pop an environmental and yeah. drop the book. Okay. Um, drop the book. <laughs> it would need a max roll to kill John at that point. Oh, he said it. He said it. <sighs> okay. 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 So I'm going to try. I'm going to use an action for steady shot. So my flint lock pistols are usually one dice plus one, but steady will make it two dice plus two. Here we go. We need three on the dice. <laughs> what did one. you do to these dice? I rolled one on the dice. <laughs> so I do three damage to one of them. So now he's got two health left. Um, the difficult thing is, I don't think you can even do two damage, can you? Can you do two damage? I, I could with my staff. So it says, what does it say? Plus one? Plus zero? No, it's plus, plus zero. zero damage. So your wrath does one. 
and that's it. You can actually only put out one damage. Can I not just no do damage. melee? No, hit? that's that's Because it's just not zero melee. damage. Yeah. Oh man. Okay, so then the plan has to change to. Uh, I have to heals you. No, I have to. And then you run. I have to shoot one down, and then move into here and hope that I last long enough to pop an environmental on the next activation. Yeah. So I'll I can kill one. Yeah. But it has to be the one on two health. And then Justin's gonna die. Um, oh. Well, and then actually, Justin's gonna maybe die. maybe not. Because if I just stand here and heal for two. I might get lucky on the rolls. You're, you're not. But it's if real. John moves up into you guys <laughs> yeah. and lands, well, one, two, too far away. Um, oh. See, here's the thing, Lance. If you walked out to here and healed me for three, as is on three, so actually you need healing as well. <laughs> so if Lance actually heals John. as John walks into there. You two will take the hit again and possibly survive. If I can survive over here, you guys can then try and hit here again. Do you know what I see for you, John? It's a clear exit out the front door. <laughs> <laughs> John, can you shoot this one, kill it? I will walk out here, take the damage, and heal Justin. But it's Az that's going to take it. I think it's death or glory time. So what do I need to do then? I need to shoot from where I'm at. Well, do you know, I'm, I'm actually with Justin now. If you make a run for the desk, you will get two two swings, and it needs it's plus one in each. So you basically need a, a couple of blanks. You can I can easily roll blanks <laughs> <laughs> when I'm attacking. Or do I just make a run for the front door? Nope, I might. Um, See, it's, it's the annoying thing about this that whenever one character dies, the entire party loses. Yep, the entire party does lose. Yep. Wouldn't it have actually been such a bad idea to just run around to go that way and come just around? Do. Can we survive long <laughs> enough? I don't think we can. I think it's go for it. One, two, three, four. Second activation. One, two, three. Take a hit. Four. No. It's three actors. Three actions. You to now get have there. my blasting to run to the desk. You're gonna, environmental. You're gonna kill me. Well, you're gonna kill you. Something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you're rolling the dice as. I'm not rolling the dice. What? So it'd be an environment action if I I have to, to I ha we have to do it. Yeah. Why don't I just heal John first and then he does that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. So okay. John, I will heal you. Have you good cam? Just a blessing. We'll do it. Yeah. With a fear it would be a better. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So three heal for you, John. Put some up one. Yeah. And now I make the environmental to run for it. Now you make the environmental to run for it. Yeah. Book it. So you're gonna go one, two, Three. So now we're gonna. So you got five health. Yep. Two two dice, each one adding one. Who wants to roll it? <sighs> Justin's gonna bite the bullet on the first one. <gasps> yes. That one, actually means one damage. He can't be killed. One Second damage. Dice, one. He, if you roll a three, fear. if you roll a three, he can still be killed. Oh, I don't gain a fear, do I? You do gain. Oh, you don't get a fear because no. you're running. So anything. I don't want to say it. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. <gasps> one. He lives. So two more damage. Environment action to drop the book. <gasps> spoiler <laughs> warning. What? Spoiler warning. Spoiler, spoiler warning. Spoiler warning. I thought we won. Spoiler warning. Okay. Spoiler warning. Spoiler. Okay. What we now do is take deck card number 10. Spoiler warning. <laughs> so we, we wake up. Right. Uh, big spoiler Let's warning. Here it comes. <laughs> Flip it over. Read that out. Unexpected guest. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'll read this out. Uh, the journals contain strange code, but a note on the desk has the key. If you are, as you're translating, the doors burst open and a crazed, what? Brom Bones lurches through. Get away from those if you want the journals. It looks like you're in for a fight. All spawns plus one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Shriek root. Open envelope one. Oh god. <sighs> I thought we had one! Can we pick the worst person to read that? <laughs> what I have here is envelope number one. Uh, Just so you know, there's actually another envelope. <laughs> we are far from done. And in here, I have. Death. Let me show him off. Okay, what is this? 
Crazed Brom Bones. Spawns in area one. Defeat to close the chapter. He's got a range of two, attack of two dice, and a health of twelve. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's this guy. <laughs> and he spawns in area one as he bursts in through the front door. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. We're doomed. We're, dead. Um, We're all doomed. And I believe if you just refer to card 10 again, I think we spawn a Shriek Root on every spawn, was it? Was the all spawns plus one Shriek Root. No. Oh. We currently have only three Shriek Roots. Yes. yes. Which means we do not have enough Shriek Roots to put them on all the spawns. Yes. Which means we lose. We're all faint. That's it. There's just too much. Yes. It just all happened at once and we went, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go into creepy cabins. <laughs> Technically, there's not survived. even a window next to me that I could break out of. <laughs> I think, even if we played another turn, yeah, I done. think we are funsies, dunsies. So we had three Shriek Roots and Gobkins surrounding you. We had four Gobkins and another Shriek Roots surrounding us. Plus, we had the boss and more backup coming at yeah. the front of the schoolhouse. Okay, I, I would like to say, I never want to play this on Legendary mode again. <laughs> it, it, is, mode. it is a little just too much. It's good. It's good. it's good, but it's, it's a actually it's really much. engaging though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it yeah. really is. We still had what like half a dozen notes we hadn't flipped over. We just couldn't get the time to do yeah. it. Um, John, do you want to sit in the corner and drink our meads? Yeah. Uh, so look, thank you everyone so much for watching this playthrough of Legends of Sleepy Hollow. As we mentioned at the start, it is a prototype game. This will not be the final copy, and they are hopefully going to have full cast miniatures rather than the standees in the final product. So you can find them on Kickstarter. So whether you're watching on Kickstarter, on YouTube, or on BeastOfWar.com, please leave a, a, a comment below with what you think of the video and indeed what you think of the game. And we'll see you soon. We hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now and be sure to check out beastofwar.com for the latest gaming news and gaming let's plays. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.